Welcome to question 9 of the 2008 Mathematical Methods Exam 1. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So we are told that a plastic brick is made in the shape of a right triangular prism. The triangular end is an equilateral triangle with side lengths x centimetres and the length of the brick is y centimetres. The volume of the brick is 1000 centimetres cubed. And for part A, we're asked to find an expression for Y in terms of X. So we can use this volume of 1000 centimetres cubed to relate X and Y. So we know that the volume is equal to the base area times the height. So the base area is going to be this triangle area here. And we know that the area of a triangle is a half base times height, so that means we need to find this length here, which we're going to call h, which is the height of that triangular end. So we're going to redraw this triangle here, where this is the right angle, this is the height h, and this is x, and this last length here is x on two. It is half the original length of the triangle side. So Pythagoras' theorem says that c squared equals a squared plus b squared therefore we know that x squared the hypotenuse is equal to a squared so that could be h squared plus x on 2 squared so therefore h squared equals x squared take x squared on 4 therefore h squared is equal to 3x squared on 4 and then h, if we take the square root of both sides, is the positive value, and it's going to be the square root of three times x over two. So now that we've got that information, we can finally relate the x and y in the volume equation. So we know that the volume is 1000, is equal to the base area, which is a half times x times h, but h is root three x over two, where the height of this is simply the length y. So therefore, 1000 is equal to, and if we clean this up, this is going to be the same as root 3x squared over 4 times y. Therefore, we would have 4000 is equal to root 3x squared y. So therefore, to get y by itself, we're simply going to divide by whatever was multiplying it. So we're going to have y equals 4,000 divided by root 3x squared. So that is the answer for part A, where we needed y in terms of x. So the examiner's report indicates that 35% of students were able to successfully attempt this problem, with 42% of students making some progress. So a lot of students had difficulty finding the volume of a prism and some used the volume for a triangular pyramid which was given on the formula sheet instead. Others mistakenly used the surface area or perimeter formulas. Finding the area of the triangle proved to be a challenge for students with many using the formula A equals a half AB sine C often with X as both the angle and the side. So if you had to use that formula, the angle would have needed to be 60 degrees. So if we have a look at what that would have looked like, we would have had the area of the triangle is a half times A times B, which is just X times X, the two side lengths, times sine of 60 degrees, because that's the angle inside an equilateral triangle. But we know that we have an exact value, so we'd have a half x squared times, and sine of 60 is root 3 on 2. Therefore, that area would have equaled root 3x squared on 4, which is what the other calculation we saw on the previous slide eventually resulted in. Most students did equate the volume expression with 1,000, which was good to see. And a reminder that students are actually expected to have adequate algebraic facility to deal with these sorts of expressions. So that level of complexity is what VCAR would expect students to be able to do routinely in exams. For part B, we're asked to show that the total surface area of a brick is given by A equals 4000 root 3 over X plus root 3 X squared over 2. So the area of this triangular prism is equal to the sum of all of its surfaces. 
So we'd have two times the area of a triangle plus three times the area of a rectangle. So therefore our area is equal to two times and the area of the triangle is a half times the base x times the height and the height we found to be root 3x over 2. So that was found in part A. And we also explored the use of the formula a half AB sine C as another way of calculating the area of a triangle. Plus, we then have 3 times the area of the rectangle, which was X times Y. But Y was found in part A to be 4,000 divided by root 3x squared. So now our job is just to simplify this and hopefully come up with the same expression that we're asked to show. So therefore our area is equal to, and we can see that this two and this two will cancel. So the first part will just be root three x times x gives x squared over two. And that there is looking like that part there. And then we're going to add onto that. And we have x will cancel with one of the x's there. So that will be three times 4,000 over root three x. And now the difference between this term and this term is simply that the denominator has been rationalized. And we can rationalize this denominator by multiplying by root three over root three. So therefore the area is equal to root three x squared over two plus three. But the two root threes on the bottom line will combine to give three. So that means this three cancels with the root three times root three in the denominators which just gives 4,000 root three over x. And that now matches the expression that we were asked to show above. So around 30% of students were able to get full marks for that question. And many students realized that the area required the sum of three rectangles and two triangles, which is what we did on the previous slide. So finally, for part C, we're asked to find the value of x which the brick has a minimum total surface area, but we are not required to find that actual minimum. So usually when we're asked to maximize or minimize something, we're going to calculate dA dx, the derivative, and set it equal to zero to find the minimum. So this rule here can actually be written as 4,000 root three x to the power of negative one plus root three x squared over two. So therefore, when we calculate the derivative, when we take the pair at the front, we'll get minus 4,000 root 3x and one off the pair will give negative two. Plus, and when we take the pair at the front and one off the pair of the second term, we'll just get root 3x. And we want that to equal zero to help us find that minimum. And that will give us root 3x is equal to 4,000 root three over x squared and now multiplying both sides by x squared we find that root 3x cubed is equal to 4,000 times root 3 and next we can divide both sides by the square root of 3 which will give us x cubed equals 4,000 so therefore x equals the cube root of 4,000 and we can simplify that down to be x equals 10 times the cube root of 4. So this is the value of x that will minimize the surface area of the brick, but still have a volume of 1000 centimeters cubed. So once again, we can see that about 30% of the students managed to get full marks for this question. However, nearly 50% of students managed to get no marks for the question. So most students realized that they needed to differentiate A and then solve the derivative equal to zero. Students who were able to do this correctly almost always obtained the correct answer. A common incorrect response was to attempt to solve A equal to zero with some students believing that A and its derivative were the same. So a big important note from this question is that if you're asked to maximize or minimize something, you should probably look at finding the derivative and making it equal to zero as a starting point to the question.